Welcome to the presentation of the Judd Offelt from the Emission Spectra Program. The program for the Judd Offelt analysis from the emission spectrum of europium. For the complete Judd Offelt analysis, the needed is a single emission spectrum and the refractive index value. To get the Judd Offelt intensity parameters, radiative transition probabilities, branching ratios, and radiative lifetime. Optionally, if the experimental or observed lifetime is available, the intrinsic quantum yield can be calculated. If the overall quantum yield of the material is known, the sensitization efficiency can be calculated. For the specific case of nanoparticles, if the nanoparticle is much smaller than the wavelength of light, there is a workaround to do Judd Offelt analysis if the fraction of the space occupied by the nanoparticles is known. What is needed? The Java runtime environment and the Joe's software which you can download from free from momisgroup.org website. It works on any operating system and the code is open source. How to prepare the input file? The input file must be in the form wavelength versus intensity and separated by comma. There are two ways to prepare the file. Directly from the spectrometer, open the file in any editor and replace all the tabs with commas and save. From origin, select spectrum data, choose file. Export and ASCII, save as text file. Choose comma for the separator and uncheck everything under labels and options. We are now ready to work with the Joe's program. In Miss Windows open Joe's.z file, under Linux or Mac open Java file. We are now ready to import the spectrum file. First choose units in which your spectrometer records. Usually it is in counts. To import spectrum file, click on file. Import spectrum, and choose the file. The correct refractive index values are crucial. First see if your material is listed in our database with more than 150 different hosts. If that is not the case, enter the refractive index values for each transition in the table. Refractive index for 5D0 to 7F6 transition is optional. If the spectrum is from the nanoparticles that are much smaller than the wavelength of light, then the correction to the refractive index must be used. Enough is to know the fraction of space the nanoparticles occupy. Next to do is enter the wavelength range for each transition. 7F6 is again optional. If you do not enter the value the default values will be provided. Click on calculate and in the table the Judd Offelt parameters and derived quantities will appear. You can save the wavelength ranges that you entered in the table in the Joe's file or use them again by clicking File and Open. To save the complete Judd Offelt analysis click on File and Create Report. Enter the desired file name including the extension. And that file can be read in any text editor. The program has some additional features. The first one is the chromaticity analysis. It can calculate Z coordinates and draw diagrams from the spectrum of any light source, not just europium. Just import spectrum and click on the blue button and once again on calculate button. If the spectrum is well resolved, you can see the number of peaks that exist for each transition. These are called the Stark levels and they appear due to the crystal field splitting. In this way the symmetry around the European ion can be estimated. Also, the asymmetric ratio is calculated. By using the software for your analysis be sure to cite our research paper published in Journal of Luminescence. Preprint is included in the archive file you have downloaded or on ResearchGate or Academia. This article explains in detail the Judd Offelt parametrization and derived quantities estimated in the program. The program can be freely downloaded, without even user registration, at the OMIS website.